Today guys, we're going to be going from a noob all the way up to max out ghoul v4 in one video. So without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and begin. Alright y'all, so the first step we got to do in order to get the ghoul race is head over to the cursed ship and grind some ectoplasm. So let's go ahead and head over there. Alright y'all, I'm at the cursed ship. Now in order for me to get the ghoul race, I actually need 100 ectoplasm and I need one hellfire torch. Now the ectoplasm are easy to get, it's just that the hellfire torch... You got to get from killing the cursed captain and the cursed captain like rarely spawns and the hellfire torch is like a one percent drop y'all so that's gonna take us a while anyways let me see how much ectoplasm i have real quick bruh damn all right so i only got three so i'm gonna need 97 more do these guys drop ectoplasm hold on let me see damn all right i don't think these guys drop it let me go to the kitchen over here Let's see if this chef guy drops it. Give me an ectoplasm, bro. Damn, really? No ectoplasm, what the heck? Am I just unlucky or do these people not drop it? Alright, there we go. Alright, so the people in the kitchen drop ectoplasm, so I'll be back once I get 100. Alright, y'all, quick progress check real quick. I'm now at 70 ectoplasm. I got 30 more to go, so let's do this. Alright, boys, so while I was grinding for ectoplasm, the cursed captain spawned. So hopefully I'm able to get the the damn Hellfire Torch first try. Let's see. Come on. Damn, he's tanky. He's tanky, not gonna lie. Alright, let me call him. Let me call him back up real quick. Much better. There we go. I got backup. <laughs> Let's go. I just need to make sure I get damage in. Where'd he go? Where is he? Oh. Flying, what the heck? I also believe he drops like 10 ectoplasm. It's gonna be good. Please give me the Hellfire Torch first try. Come on. Get him, boys. Oh my god, they didn't ally. Bro did not ally me. And I didn't get the Hellfire Torch, unfortunately, Bruh. but I did get 10 ectoplasm. Let me see how much I got now. 94. Alright, so we're just 6 away. Alright boys, so I'm just going to wait for the Cursed Captain to spawn again, and we'll jump him. Alright boys, the Cursed Captain finally spawned again, so let's go ahead and kill him. Hopefully I get the Hellfire Torch on my second attempt. Let's see. Alright boys, he's like he's like four more hits. Let's see if I get the Hellfire Torch. Come on. Three, two, one. And unfortunately, I still didn't get the Hellfire Torch, but I did get 10 Ectoplasm. Let's see how much Ectoplasm I have now. So I got 130, so I'm good on Ectoplasm. Now I just have to keep grinding the boss until I get the Hellfire Torch. Alright, y'all. This is like, what, attempt, like, 7 now? Let's see if I get the Hellfire Torch, y'all. Alright, guys. He's low. He's low. Come on. Give me this Hellfire Torch, bro. It takes so long, bro. If I don't get it, then... I still didn't get the Hellfire Torch. Oh, my God, y'all. This is like my 7th Cursed Captain. I still haven't got it. Gotta keep grinding. Alright y'all, the cursed captain finally spawned. Now I swear this is like my 30th time killing this guy and I still haven't got the hellfire torch, bro. So hopefully I get it this time. Alright y'all, he's low, he's low. Come on. Hellfire torch, please. Yes! Finally! Got the hellfire torch. Oh my god, y'all. We finally got the hellfire torch, guys. Look how long it took me, y'all. Just just look at this, okay? I have 307 ectoplasm, okay, and it's all from the boss. I actually I only grinded 100 and I got 200 from the boss, okay. Then I got this blue spiky coat or whatever, I never knew that was a thing. And then I got the red one. And I have 1.6 million. That's how long it took me to get this damn torch, y'all. Anyways, let's go and get the ghoul race. So now what you want to do is just head over here to this guy and talk to him. Okay, he says this, this nonsense. You say what? And it'll be like, would you like to trade 100 ectoplasm for ghoul race? Yes, sir. Now we have ghoul race. Oh, let me go outside. As you can see, we got like the little horns like popping out a bit. All right. And now what we need to do is go and talk to the alchemist. So let's head over there. All right, y'all. We're over here at the alchemist. Now let's go ahead and speak to him. Let's see what he says. Okay. He says, hello. Talk. It appears you haven't unlocked your maximum potential yet. If you're seeking more power... Bring me three different flowers spread across the entire map. Okay, I'll do it. Alright, so now y'all, we gotta find the blue flower, which only spawns at night. 
the red flower and the yellow flower which you get from killing npcs so let's go ahead and start with the red flower y'all all right y'all first location for the red flower they said it was near the stairs somewhere over here but it doesn't look like it's over here let me check over here yeah so the red flower isn't here let's move on to the next location all right y'all next location is supposed to be over here by the mansion so let's see if there's any red flower no and none over here so let's move on to the third location all right guys now the next location is somewhere over here it said that it was like near the marine let's look around oh it's right here guys right here right here right here come here all right so we got the red flower now let's get the yellow flower all right y'all now in order to get the yellow flower we just gotta kill some random npcs so let's kill them until we get the red flower y'all all right y'all and just like that we now have the red flower and the yellow flower so now we just gotta go and get the blue flower so let's go and get it all right y'all first location let's go ahead and check up here let's see if the blue flowers here where's the entrance to this place bro yo how do i get up here bro what the heck where's it the oh there it is can't see it's so dark bro come on there we go oh and it's right here yeah, i'm just lucky like that so now we got the blue flower the yellow flower and the red flower so now let's go back to the alchemist and give it to him all right i'm back at the alchemist now let's see what he says let me give him these flowers he says hello good job now i can make the potion but it's not going to be free 500k all right that's light work yes sir so now our race has evolved nothing nothing changed much what the heck what do we get bro he just this guy just scammed me all right y'all now in order for us to get um ghoul v3 we got to go speak to a row so let's go and talk to him all right, y'all, I'm over here at a row. Let's see what he says now. Click on him. It says, greetings. Okay, sir. Let's begin. Begin what? I'm a row son of Indra. Right, I'm not trying to read all this. Okay, I'm interested. Excellent. Talk to me again once you defeat five players. All right, that should be easy. I'm going to go ahead and kill five people. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I just killed five people. Let's see if it works. Okay, he says, greetings, sir. Okay, he says, well done. I, like many gods before me, have used this gift of mine to teach R.E.S. and all this, all right? And he says he charged a cheap price of two million, bro. Damn, I'm going to be broke after this, but let's do it. Here we go, y'all. So now I have um, Hellhound. I got a new... What the hell, bro? All right, so now I got the new title called Hellhound, and I got Heightened Senses, y'all. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, and my horns got bigger. Look at this. All right, now all we need to do is wait for a full moon and get V4. So let's do this. All right, guys, I found a full moon, but it's in a public server. So we'll see how it goes. Three, two, one, go. Come on. Yes, sir, it's starting. All right, all right. It's a public server, y'all. So I've never done ghoul trials. What is this? Defeat the enemies and survive. Oh, it's lightweight, right? Easy. Look at these guys. Roll boot up. Too OP. Buddha's way too OP. You completed your trial? What the heck? That was so easy. It took me like five seconds. Alright. Let's see these guys. I think one of my friends managed to get in. Oh, yes, sir. Alright, alright, alright. We're gonna 2v1. We got this. We got this. Alright, there we go. There we go. Alright, we gotta jump him, bro. What is he? Dragon? Come on, coach. We got this, man. We got a 2v1. Sarah Buddha. God human. Where is he at, bro? Come here. Two thousand years later. He's like one hit. He's one tap. Let's go! Let's go! No, coach died. Alright, at least I made it. At least I made it, y'all. My boy died. At least I made it. Now I can awaken my race. Let's go. We almost lost the 2v1. Okay, let's interact. Ancient Claw. Come on, interact again. Get the first gear. Yes, sir. Now we got a new title called Nightwalker, y'all. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, any changes? Let's see. Okay. Oh, what the heck? I have like this red thing on my head. Okay, I have like this red crown on my head. All right. Anyways, let me go train so I can show you guys the transformation. All right, y'all, let me train real quick so I can show you guys the form. Let me, let me deal some damage. Oh, shoot. All right. Come 
Alright, there we go. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. Oh, relax. Damn. Just look at this, guys. So I got six wings. And I got like a red crown on, bro. My horns. Alright, now we just gotta wait for another full moon so we can get the abilities of the V4. So let's do this. Alright, y'all. About to go, I'm about to start the second trial. Let's do this. Just gotta defeat these enemies. These guys are so easy. I feel like Ghoul's the easiest trial, y'all. And the hardest has to be Mink. Because of the maze parts. Random. Alright, let's kill this last NPC. Bam. See, look how easy that is. Done, just like that. Now I'm just gonna wait for the other two. Alright, now that you gotta reset, let's do this. Where's the spirit at? Oh, come on, come on, lead me, lead me. Alright, let's see. So we got the first one, Domain Expansion. Adds a dark field around the user with multiple effects. It's slowness, health regen, blindness. Okay, that's kind of OP. I'll see this. Bruh. Bro, this one sucks. I'm gonna, Obviously, I'm going to get this one. Yes, sir. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Let's see how it looks, y'all. Let me go and transform real quick. All right, y'all. Here's the transformation. Three, two, one. Damn. Look at this. We got like this black like domain thing following us. That's like kind of like the angel one. Like this one gives you blindness and like all that, bro. Damn, look at this. It's kind of hard to see though. Like I don't know how people PvP with this. Yeah, but it's OP though. Like, like right now, this guy's blinded. He can't see anything. Anyways, y'all. We just need one more full moon to get the last ability and we're done. So let's do this. Alright, let's do this. Where's the thing? This one. This one does um leech, basically. Just the leech ability. I don't think anything changes, though. Except Leech. Anyways, y'all. Let me go and transform and showcase it, y'all. Alright, y'all. Here's how Ghoul V4 Max Out looks like. Oh, my gosh. Let me hit one more person. Come here. There we go. Look at this, y'all. Well, let's, see, let's see how it looks on enemies. Come here. It's like right now I'm blinding the hell out of this guy. He can't see anything, you know? So you can just jump him. You won't even know what's happening to him. Take his bounty. Come here, bro. <laughs> He's running for his life. See, he, he didn't even know it hit him, bro. He was blinded the entire time. And we got life leech, so we get extra HP. And yeah, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, then please make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.